I'm Peggy Johnson. I'm Bonnie Anderson. And welcome to Where is Hartford, the only TV show that features the people, places, and events exclusively from Hartford. And the stars are you, the people that live, work, and play in downtown Hartford. We examine close off your passions for the city, your hopes, dreams, and the controversial. And we'll be discussing hot issues with our political, social, and business leaders. Our camera will be looking for you, enjoying Hartford's arts and entertainment. And we'll be interviewing famous people that visit and perform in Hartford, plus more, whereas Hartford offers fresh and provocative television. We feature Hartford in a positive style that reflects the 90s. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm talking to you if you're listening to the plan in West Hartford. We need provocative programming, slamming. As goes Hartford, goes the region. Political statements, visual facts we're seeing with the chance to voice opinions through a TV show. Emphasizing dynamics, don't you know? Income tax reform, housing education. You won't find it on any other station. Where's Hartford? Hi, I'm Bonnie Anderson. Welcome back to Where's Hartford. Do you ever question what brings life to Hartford? The museums, entertainment, great restaurants, wonderful places to shop, all of these things do. But the most important element is you, the people who work, live, and play in the city of Hartford. You are the pulse of what brings Hartford alive. And to prove that point, we took our cameras to the street so you could show us where is Hartford. I like it. It's beautiful. It's a pretty city, and it's lively, and it's fun. You know, no one's ever asked me that. What do I personally like best about Hartford? I like the accessibility. I like the compactness of, of Hartford so that I can come down here and come to the old state house and from the old state house I can go to many, many different things without having to get in my car and drive there. And I appreciate that. You've got the Connecticut River, fantastic resource. Uh, right. Many people are now starting to pay attention to it. Got a lot of work being done with Riverfront and Capture, right. and uh, it's a resource that I think is going to come into into vogue in the near future. I like the history of Hartford, okay. the old state house, and you see Mr. Stowhouse, mm -hmm. Mark Twain, the concerts that come here, stuff like this is happening now. I think Hartford is very historical. It can be very amusing. It all depends on who you're with. You have so much to do. All these eateries here. You have French food. You have Italian food. You have Mexican food. You have Jamaican food. If you love to eat, this is a place to be. <laughs> For Hartford to really become the city of tomorrow, it has to become the city of everybody. And uh, it really has to uh, pull itself together, be a very inclusionary process, and uh, move forward together. get into that business because I like it. Uh, do you think that being a model has advantages in the city of Hartford? And is it a matter? I guess so because there's a lot of things in here. There's a lot of business that you can you know, promote. Things. You can get something in here. Right? Does he have an air day for his program yet? Depending on us being more concerned about it. See, Alice, you're coming in and not doing nothing, but this fool is city is good. What are you saying? It's a good city. I'm all dead. Uh, hi, how are you? How are you? Welcome to the mayor's office. I'm Carrie Saxon Perry. And what's your name? My name is Adelva Jeremy. Oh, where are you from? Dominican Republic. Oh, how long have you been in Hartford? 
Mm, around six years. Six years? Yes. What do you think about our city? I just love it. You do love yeah, it? Yeah, I do like it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I, my favorite people are those who love the city of Hartford. Really? I have a real passion for it. In fact, I started a campaign, sort of individual campaign, mm -hmm. that when people live, say, in Simsbury, Glastonbury, I want them to say, I'm Joe Blow from Hartford, Glastonbury. So that there's a connection. So I'm glad that you're here and you've been here for six years. Yeah. And where do you live in the city? You have to give an address, but do you live in... In Hedford, yeah. Okay, you live in, in the, uh, the yeah, business the Hedford, district? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what are you planning to do now that you're in our city? And you're, this is your first visit to this mayor's office, that's correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so what are you planning to do after you leave the mayor's office? Just a lot of things to do. I want to get my hair done. I want to go shopping, just take lunch, and many things. You know, just walk around, see the city, okay. stuff like that. And you know something, you can do it all in Hartford. Sometimes people don't understand it. They think they just come to Hartford to work. That's right. But we have a number of pleasures here and a number of gifts. And I heard you say you're going to go shopping, so that's in our stores. We have the uh, Civic Center, we have Richardson, and you said you're going to get your hair done. And we also have some wonderful cultural uh, experiences. We have the Wadsworth Athenaeum, uh -huh. we have a theater, we have several theaters in terms of legitimate, when they say legitimate, it's on stage, it's not a movie house. One of the things we really need to have, though, is a movie house. We need where people can come in our city rather than going out to the suburban malls okay. to find those ten kind of movie houses all packed into one. So what else do you plan to do? I don't know, I just want to go outside and then once I'm outside, I'll see what I can do. There's a lot of things to do outside. That's true. Because it's a friend, what they call it, a pedestrian and consumer friendly town, and it is. Especially Pratt Street. As you go out, you should go by Pratt Street. Oh, I love this. And it's closed from 12 to 2 or 12 to 3, and you can just stroll up, and sometimes they have entertainment. So it's just, a, it's just great fun. Just great fun. Yes, I didn't know from 12 to 3. Yeah, this, the street is closed to traffic. Uh -huh. So that means you can walk in the middle of the street, you know, because there's all these bricks that were contributed by people uh -huh. in order to make the project possible. And their names are on it. I think my name is on it. I gave a couple of the bricks for, uh -huh. I think one was for a wedding gift. This is kind of an unusual wedding gift. They have to kind of go around and look and find that brick. But people always really say, People don't realize how much it is to do in our city. Mm -hmm. And as mayor, I get so many invitations to go to so many places. And it's not only downtown, it's within our neighborhoods. I don't think there's any place in America, maybe Italy too, I don't know, that have the number of really good restaurants as Franklin Avenue. I mean, you can find all kind of wonderful Italian food there. So you should try that also in your travels. Uh -huh. Have you been on Franklin Avenue? Oh, yes, a lot of times. And I have tried with some of the restaurants, too. And have you enjoyed them? Oh, yeah. Those yeah. are nice. Yeah. Italian food is so nice, okay. too. So what are some of your favorites? Now, if you had to give a list of what your favorite things to do in the city, what would you say is your most favorite? Co-shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so, like so I like think a it's a typical woman. from a woman, right? Yeah. <laughs>
sure you are, because when Where's Hartford returns, we'll be attending the grand opening celebration of Hartford's hottest new restaurant, Hot Tamales. The food is phenomenal, the atmosphere intoxicating, and its success inevitable. And speaking of success, we'll also have a chance to speak with the owner of Hot Tamales, Johnny G.